Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at multicam and how the brand new multicam feature inside of Final Cut Pro 10 works. So I've got some clips. Um, I've got a few clips of Rosetta singing um, a song live and I've got three different camera angles as well as a piece of audio and then some b-roll as well that I can stitch in afterwards so my, sorry, how multicam works basically is it's very simple you select your clips just hold down command and you can select multiple items in your event browser and then you can right click and press new multicam clip and then it's going to give you some options um, you can rename it, we're going to call it Rosetta Singing and it's also going to ask us to use audio for synchronization, which is what you want. You basically want a piece of video with an audio already, uh, with an audio channel built in, um, because this is what Final Cut will use to align the different clips. You can use customized settings, and then you can see that we've actually got a few extra options, um, like where to start the auto um, alignment, and we've also got a few. Um, tools with which to align the different elements. For instance, let's say you had a piece of video that didn't have an audio clip, you could align them based on time code um, or date of creation or things like that. And then we've also got um, angle clip ordering, which ones you want them to be first, etc. Um, but we're going to go ahead and use audio because that's the simplest and best way to do it in my opinion. Um, if you've got audio, use it first, and then if not, use time code. But I know a lot of uh, prosumer cameras don't necessarily use time code, uh, and if you don't know what time code is, then you needn't worry. So we're just going to go ahead and give this a keyword uh, so that we can keep our project organized. If we go back to our Rosetta singing keyword collection, make sure you watch my tutorial on keyword collections. You can see we've now got a clip here called Rosetta Singing. Um, and if we double click on this, it's going to show us all of our clips, which are now going to be aligned based on their audio. So, what we can do, we can give it a little playback. You can see we've got the skimmer enabled, um, the skimmer's blue here. And we can play back over each clip. To confess, baby, just don't let me go. And she's singing a little bit of a song. And now if we click on this clip. Sorry, double click on it. They sound like they're pretty aligned, which is great. Um, and you can go through and check all the others. You can also see that some of them don't all start at the same point. So we're going to make sure that we don't cut. Um, to these clips until they come in and in fact the audio clip starts first so if we go back to our project by clicking on this arrow here you can see I've got a multicam tutorial project made just for you guys we can now grab our multicam clip and bring it into the timeline now we saw that most of our clips don't actually come in to about here so we can just grab this handle here and trim off the first chunk and we're just going to leave it at that for now until we know what we're dealing with and then uh, we want to go ahead and load up our multicam viewer. So if we choose this arrow here, um, so this little switch box up in this corner, and choose Show Angle Viewer, you can see we can now see all of our angles. And it's actually going to show you exactly what um, the present frame based on where our playhead is. For instance, if we scrub through, you can see that they're all going to change, and then our third angle comes in, which is great. However, this stream is actually just an audio clip, um, which is cool. So what you want to do is pay note to these tools here. You can see we've got a video and audio switcher, a video switcher, and an audio switcher. If we choose our audio switcher, um, if we scrub to the beginning of the timeline, if we press N to turn on uh, skimming, so that uh, sorry snapping, so that it snaps us to the front of the timeline, and then with our audio selector selected we're going to choose our audio stream. So now that our audio stream is selected and locked down, we are free to go through and change our audio, sorry, change our video channel as we play back. 
and it's literally live um, cutting, uh, as if you were cutting a live show. So if we just press the spacebar, you can see we've got a blade tool now over our images, and we can literally make sure we've got our video switching selected. We can literally click and click and you can see down here in the timeline it's making these cuts for us you can see that there's little dotted lines here showing us where these cuts are and now our third audio channel has come in so we can just click on that sorry third video channel um, and we want to go to a close up now let's get a wider shot And you can see how flexible this really is, and you can just go through. In fact, we don't even have to click up here. We can just be watching in the viewer here and keeping our eye, and we can even use the keystrokes, um, let's say 3 to go to camera 3, or we're already on camera 3. Let's press 2 to go to camera 2. You can see it's now cut to camera 2. We can press 4 to go to camera 4. There you go. Just did a mad cut for you guys. We're pressing 2, 3, 4 in quick succession, because so I'm mad. Okay, and I've pressed spacebar to stop. You can see that we've now got all of our cuts. If we press Command Plus to zoom into the timeline. Now, what's clever about this is Final Cut at the same time treats these as individual clips, but also as a multicam clip. Now, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Um, for instance, you can see we've got a dotted line, so it looks like just a line through a clip, and then obviously some different footage either side. We can grab this handle as if we were in trim mode and trim the in and out point of the incoming, which is this clip, and the outgoing clip, which is this clip. And we can even double click on it again as if we were in um, our precision editor. Um, and we can skim off here, which will mess up the alignment. Um, but what you want to do is use this handle, and then you can make a changes that won't affect anything. Um, and you can go through and change this, and obviously by uh, simultaneously adjusting the out point of the um, outgoing clip and the in point of the incoming clip, uh, we are keeping everything in sync. We just play this back. Wonderful. Now, if we uh, grab this clip here, you can see that now, um, just like any other ordinary clip, unlike a multicam clip, we are free to grab this clip and move it anywhere. So, this is just uh, refers back to my point earlier about how Final Cut treats it like a normal clip like individual clips at the same time as treating it like an overall multicam sequence and I just press command Z to undo that and then obviously what we can do is go through and grab in some of this uh, b-roll footage you can see we've got a nice pan shot coming down from the uh, from the sky which is nice and we can even throw in a transition if we go into the transition editor we can throw in transitions between these cut points as well and then we can transition out from here. And remember, one of the other things... Go away. One of the other things is that we've still got access to this editor. For instance, if we were to go to a cut point, let's say this point here, uh, and we select this clip, we can change the camera angle. If we were to press, uh, let's say, camera 2, you can see we've now changed the camera angle of that clip. Um, so the whole time you've got access to all these multicam tools while still having the power to manipulate it as if it were a normal sequence. Um, and that's the real beauty of uh, multicam inside of Final Cut Pro X. Um, and it's a completely non-destructive workflow, which is really cool. Um, so that is essentially the basis of... Um, of multicam inside of Final Cut Pro X. Um, you can see we've got a few more settings here to... Um, choose some overlays, maybe time code, you can see now we've got the time code of the clips um, but you can see that none of them are the same um, and that's because we weren't dealing with time code properly when we were filming it. Uh, we could show the clip name, the angle name um, and we can obviously, if we had more clips we could have 16 clips here although Final Cut supports a lot more, I believe up to 64 clips which is pretty cool um, so yeah, so that in a nutshell is 
multicam inside Final Cut Pro 10. Hopefully it was useful. Um, hopefully this tutorial was easy to follow. If you liked it, be sure to leave a comment, let me know what your thoughts, and even request a tutorial if you wish. Um, and share these with your friends. And subscribe, I think that's the most important things. Um, if you want to be notified when I upload more tutorials for Final Cut Pro 10 and other relevant editing applications, then um, subscribe and maybe even sign up for email notifications, but it's up to you. So I'll see you guys soon with some brand new tutorials and covering some of the other features in the new update for Final Cut Pro 10.